yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. On December 7, 1941, in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, all Americans were going about their days like every other typical Sunday. For us now, most Americans would watch either the Super Bowl or football or even just play video games like I do. Unfortunately, though, at 7.48 a.m., Pearl Harbor, the naval base, was all of a sudden attacked by Imperial Japanese Navy aircraft including fighters, level and die bombers, and torpedo bombers in two waves, launched from six aircraft carriers off the coast of Hawaii. The main target of those Japanese aviators was to destroy the United States Navy aircraft carriers that were supposedly in port in Pearl Harbor. Now, unfortunately for the Japanese, the carriers that they were supposed to destroy were not even in port. So, they had to divert their targets to the six United States Navy battleships that were in the so-called Battleship Row. Now, all the battleships that were actually in this area here, as you guys can see, were the California, the Neosho, the Maryland, Tennessee, Arizona, Nevada, Vestal, and West Virginia, along with the Oklahoma. The battleships that got damaged the most... And the ones that are most famous, unfortunately, for the wrong reasons, were the USS Oklahoma, and the worst that got the worst was the Arizona. The Oklahoma took 9 to 11 torpedoes, and a total of 429 crew members died on that ship alone. Survivors jumped off the ship into 15 feet into burning hot water or crawled across mooring lines that connected the Oklahoma to the Maryland. Just take a minute to imagine what the people there had to go through and also the bravery of those guys getting a rope across the water over to the Maryland to crawl to safety. Just take a minute to imagine just how scary that must have been for those people. We can never endure that and we could probably never even think of that, but they had to go through that. Now, the battleship that struggled the most and that got damaged the most and which ultimately sunk and could not be brought back up at all was the USS Arizona. The Japanese managed to score a lucky bomb hit on one of the Arizona's front turrets, um, which penetrated the ship's magazine and blew up in a mega colossal explosion. Here are the Arizona's last moments. Because of that explosion, 1,177 crew members on board the USS Arizona died. Take a minute to imagine that. There were a total of 2,390 people that in total died on Pearl Harbor alone. And 1,177 of them were just on the Arizona. And uh, yeah, that's why I say the Arizona um, sinking is the worst out of all of them is because almost half of all the lives that were lost in Pearl Harbor were on the USS Arizona. And uh, may they all rest in peace. Now, on the USS Oklahoma, when it did sink to those torpedoes, it did not sink all the way. In fact, the Oklahoma only sunk just enough to where its hull was still sticking out of the water. And actually, there were still men trapped inside the Oklahoma. And some of the sailors could even hear the men banging on the steel from the outside trying to get out because they were trapped inside. And I believe they eventually did drill a hole inside the Oklahoma to rescue a majority of the guys trapped inside that ship. Now, everywhere else throughout the whole entire um, of Pearl Harbor, there were also 300 airplanes that were um, destroyed at various airfields, such as Hickam Field and some other airfields as well. When the Japanese were coming in for a bombing strike on the ships, 
the level bombers did manage to destroy a lot of the airfields throughout Pearl Harbor. Also, 20 American ships in total were sunk, and 2,400 sailors, soldiers, and civilians were killed, and about 1,000 people, probably more than that, were wounded. However, the Japanese had failed to cripple the United States Pacific Fleet. And after that, after all that happened, after that horrific attack happened, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, which, was pre- which he was president at the time, had no choice but to address the Congress of the United States and demand a declaration of war against the Empire of Japan. The Congress, of course, had no choice but to support his demands and America entered World War II. Now, we are now coming to the end of this video. I do thank you all for watching. Keep in mind, this is my first historical video. I don't do many of these. In fact, I do mostly World of Warships content. It's a video game if you guys are not familiar. Now, I hope you all did enjoy this. And I do like talking about some of this history stuff. It is quite fun. And um, it is nice to definitely bring up a lot of the historical um, aspects of, of what I love doing. I love history, not just video games, but I love history as well. History is something that I really like to dabble in. And of course, World of Warships Legends um, has a lot of ships that were from history and that you can use in game as well. And yeah, so is there anything else I want to talk about? Well, thank you for 200 subscribers. I'm still happy about that. And if you guys like this video, please punch uh, the like button and comment down below your thoughts, opinions. Be a little nice in there. This is just my first historical video. I had to do a bunch of research just for this. And I'm sure I did not cover all of it. That's pretty actually natural um, when doing a historical video. Is you're going to miss some things, and especially if it's your first one. However, um, enough talking if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.